Hey, 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 Mike Wrigley, Certified Default Advocate, Distressed Property Expert, and your short sale specialist here. Welcome to another edition of our video blog. Today we're covering short sale myths 6 through 10. Let's get started. Myth number 6. Damage to the homeowner's credit standing is comparable in a short sale and a foreclosure. No, debunk, no way. In most cases, the credit repercussions and deficiency protections are more damaging with a foreclosure than a short sale. Short sale transactions can often lead to a faster financial recovery for you, the homeowner. In certain instances, if the homeowner missed no mortgage payments, they may be eligible to finance the purchase of a home immediately following the short sale transaction. Call me for details on that. Myth number seven, following a short sale, the homeowner will be ineligible to purchase another property for five to seven years. No, debunked, not true. Using conventional lending guidelines, some consumers may be able to obtain a Fannie Mae back mortgage in as few as 24 months, sometimes less, after the close of the short sale. With a foreclosure, you are five to seven years if you can get one. Myth number eight, after a short sale transaction, the homeowner will receive a 1099 and be forced to declare the loss as income. Debunked, the owner may indeed receive a 1099 in a short sale 1099C, but due to the 2007 Mortgage Forgiveness Debt Relief Act, which expires at the end of this calendar year, by the way. Among other considerations, the homeowner may not owe any taxes on their transaction. Now, I can't give you tax or legal advice, but I can tell you most people do qualify for the 2007 Mortgage Forgiveness Debt Relief Act. Myth number nine, the lender will sue the homeowner after the close of a short sale or foreclosure or deed in lieu of foreclosure for the deficiency. No, debunked. While again, I can't give you tax or legal advice, I can tell you that when a lender agrees to the short sale, they also have to agree not to seek a deficiency judgment. Why is this critical? If you have a home equity line of credit, a HELOC, and you've refinanced, you allowed the property to go to foreclosure, that second still remains as a debt you owe. In a short sale, the lender has to agree to wipe it out. Short sale, much smarter than foreclosure. Myth number 10. A, any realtor or self-proclaimed short sale specialist can manage my short sale su successfully. Oh, debunked. Don't make that mistake. This could not be further from the truth. There is truly a difference in agents and how the job gets done. Handled incorrectly as the homeowner, you could be left liable for the deficiency on the loan and income taxes to boot. Be sure to qualify your agent before hiring them. They should have completed 10 or more short sales, have gone through extensive training, have at least two or three uh, certifications. They should have uh, worked with your lender in the past, and I got to tell you, there is a difference. For a free, no obligation, confidential consultation, call my office at the number below. Call me today, sleep better tonight, you'll be glad you did. I'll see you soon. Thanks for visiting us.